Have you seen what people on the internet are saying? The Article 13 is going to destroy the internet. You know, the internet is breaking. I don't know, people are going crazy on the internet. This thing is taking the internet by storm. Have you heard those sentences or have you seen them written somewhere? Well, they are all totally wrong. They are usually sensational titles of people who are looking for attention, but they don't know what they're talking about. There is no such a place as the internet. The internet is not a place. You cannot go there. You cannot, I don't know, be there. You cannot do anything there. So what is the internet? Well, if you don't know, I want you to stop the video right now and think about it and really say aloud, what do you think the internet is? Do it now. So, the internet is nothing more but an infrastructure that connects computers and networks all over the world. And it's a publicly accessible infrastructure. There is nothing else. The internet has nothing to do with YouTube, Facebook, or any other website whatsoever. These are, the internet is just cables, routers, switches, satellite links, and that's it. There is nothing, there is no connection between website, YouTube, Facebook, or whatever. Now, you can use the internet to access those services. You can access YouTube, Facebook, all other websites, you can send emails using the internet. But these are things that use the internet to connect. Yeah, they, they are totally separate things. Like, you know, you've got roads and then you've, you, you have users who use those roads to go to places, but they are separate things, you know, like you have postal services, like in the UK, we have Royal Mail that delivers packages and they often use roads they travel on the roads you know and, and but they just use the roads they are separate yeah and um, so if you get a letter from from someone you know you don't and someone asks you hey who did you get the letter from you don't say oh i got it from the postman you say i got it from i don't know jimmy johnny or from my bank you know whoever yeah the post it doesn't matter that the postman delivered the letter or whoever else or the, the parcel yeah i got the parcel from my uncle you don't say oh i got the parcel from the delivery guy yeah it doesn't matter who delivered the thing so it's the same with the internet the internet is just a delivery mechanism for all those services for emails websites uh, skype whatsapp all the other things yeah and why is it important well first of all it's important because it's crucial to understand the difference yeah and the way if you start speaking oh i bought it on the internet that means that that doesn't mean anything really because if i if you bought it let's say in a supermarket and i ask you where did you buy it you wouldn't say oh i bought it in the world or i bought it i don't know not in the on the internet that would be a ridiculous thing to say yeah you would say oh i bought it in Ma asda or tesco or just in a supermarket that's what you would say uh, so why do you say Oh, I bought it on the internet, you know, it's ridiculous. You bought it in a very specific place. I bought it on Amazon or on eBay, or I bought it from a private seller through Amazon or through eBay. You know, you could say like this if you want to be more precise, or I bought it on Amazon from Amazon because Amazon also sells their, their own products. Yeah. And sometimes they just uh, uh, work as a platform for other sellers, you know? So the same with an article, if you read an, an article in the newspaper, it doesn't matter whether you read it in a physical form or if you read it in a digital form on the website, for example. Yeah, you wouldn't say, oh, I read the, the article on the internet, because again, there is no such a place on the internet, but you can say, I read it on the website of uh, New York Times, for example, or I read it in the paper edition of New York Times or just in New York Times or BBC or whatever other magazine or website it was. So. Again, someone says, oh, the Article 13 is going to destroy the internet. No, it's not going to destroy the internet because it has nothing to do with the internet. It's about copyrights on things posted online. The internet as the infrastructure is not going to change in the slightest by the Article 13. 
Yeah, it's not like some part of the internet is going to, I don't know, disappear. No, the, those cables will still be there, you know, under the ocean, in the ground, you know, and everywhere. The internet's not going to change in the slightest. And it's important to understand it because when you then see the articles that say, oh, this is going to destroy the internet, you know that the person who wrote it is probably looking for some sensation and looking for viewership and not really, isn't, doesn't really care or doesn't is not going to deliver you the the message that is objective and that is going to give you facts it's just propaganda you know or scaremongering or whatever you know they have on their minds you know so always listen again listen carefully and think about what is being said what is written uh, about what you hear what you read you know always think about it is it true or is it just some propaganda? You know, is the person speaking actually an expert on the subject or they just read a few things and they think they know everything, you know? So this is really important. It will help you in life a lot. So remember, there is no such a place as the internet. The internet is just an infrastructure. It's a tool that helps us connect with uh, things all over the world. So things like you know, the websites, be it, you know, again, Facebook, YouTube, or whatever, the website you like, or uh, send an email, yeah? Two separate things. The internet has nothing to do with all those services built around this. The same way like the roads have nothing to do with uh, the delivery guys, delivery companies, or you yourself as a user. You are separate for, for, from those roads. You use them, yeah, you benefit from them, but you separate. There isn't no connection between you whatsoever yeah i hope that was useful and yeah let me know uh let me know how you feel about this and how are you going now to change the way you talk are you going to change the way you talk because i know it's difficult to replace certain vocabulary yeah so if you got used to saying oh, on the internet you probably will continue saying it but i encourage you to really think about it and start being more specific and more truthful about what you say because Seeing the world as it really is helps you a lot in life. If you don't want to distinguish certain things, you know, like a danger from uh, safety, then it's very difficult for you to be safe. Yeah, so it's important to distinguish things. And such a thing like the internet, it, it just beggars belief that so many people do not understand what the internet is, or they do, but only when you ask them specifically, but then they keep talking about it like if this is something, some kind of a bubble cloud or something, which it is not. Uh, and I think it's important that, that we make this distinction, okay? So yeah, looking forward to your comments. Yeah, I really wanna know what, what are your suggestions about this, your stories, you know, anything you like, uh, comment anything you like anyway. Um, see you in the next video and make comments, okay? Take care, guys.